Yeah, Jack Della, what a big win he got over Gilbert. I mean, Man, I still moves off him. I remember when he went to the Contender Series, he hit a, like a Maki Kumi reversal in the first round of the Contender Series fight, and I was just blown away by his grappling. And I've been watching it since. And his reversal at Gilbert Burns was crazy. Yeah, man. very crazy. Train, I've trained with him, and I'm just like, I still moves from him. Mm. Like, he's, man, he's so good at grappling. Yeah, he's very good at striking, too. He's, in my opinion, he's like one of the best in the sport at mixing up shots from the body to the head. Because so many fighters, for whatever reason, are headhunters. You know, and because you can knock a guy out with one shot, but Jack is so good at mixing shots up to the body and to the head. I mean, he just breaks guys down. It's, yeah, it's man, he's a scary guy. I was lucky actually because before the Taporia fight, we were able to sort of link up. So it was like uh, he came out to uh, Wollongong and trained. Izzy came out at the same time, so I got to watch Jack Deller and Izzy mix it up, and then them train with folks. And for me, even as an MMA fan, it's like I have to pinch myself sometimes and be like, wow. That's amazing. It's just like putting on this thing. When I'm talking to these guys about super fights, it's the dream. As just a grappling fan, I'm just thinking, oh, what could we do? Who could we convince into this event? You know, like just as from a pure fan perspective, it is pretty fun. Those no, aspects. I'm, I'm sure. It's, it's going to be interesting to see whether or not this can work. Because um, a lot of people have like looked at the UFC model and said, hey, athletes should be getting paid more money. And so they put on these events and none of them are profitable.